It's the last time he encounters this type of humor. It wasn't until 1975 when Herschel Clady decided to become an engineer. Most guys were firefighters in fire stations doing their job on the bottom of the totem pole. Herschel Clady took the engineer's exam and passed it in the 70s, and he was the first black to promote the department. I can tell you how I handle it, number one. Uh, the question was put to me, how do I feel being the first uh, black engineer? Uh, and I, I didn't respond to that because off of the list that I was promoted off of, there were 18 people on that list. And uh, I was... I just happen to be the first black. Engineer, they've had several hundred uh, thousand engineers on LA County Fire Department. Uh, so it's no big deal being an engineer. Uh, my question was, does it pay any more to be the first black engineer? I said, no, the salary is still the same. There's no big deal. That's how I accepted it, no big deal. I'd already passed the captain exam at that time. I was on the captain list. So uh, I always had my eye on the captain spot. I was engineer for one year. Brent Burton, LA County fire captain and stentorian. When he wanted to be in command of a crew, that was something different. And when he took the captain's exam, the administration refused to promote him. Even though there were vacancies available, even though he was on the list and in a position to be promoted, they still refused, and he had to file a lawsuit for that. Well, around this time, they had figured out that I was going to be pushing for promotion. And those individuals who didn't want that to happen started making roads to stop me. And one way to do it is to stop me on the uh, appraisal of promotability. That's where you're given a grade based on what the department think your ability to function at that position might be. Uh, that's always a quick way of stopping an individual from making a promotion. Uh, my grade that they gave me out of a possible 100 was a 58, 58 out of 100. And uh, the truth was that pissed me off. And I was going to do any and everything to get that change. But they turn right around and the white candidate give them a grade of 100 with the same or less experience. So that wasn't truthful. And yet each time I uh, point those uh, discrepancy out, they go to something else. And to the point where I just didn't discuss it with them anymore, I decided to get on the legal end and go to uh, first step was the administrative. First administrative step you take would be civil service. A year and a half passed before the Civil Service Commission ruled in his favor. He was promoted to captain in 1977. I recall when I was leaving my station uh, to go to station 96 for my assignment, my first day, the battalion chief there, uh, who really didn't get along with me very well and I didn't get along with him, uh, called a little meeting there and wanted to discuss with me the uh, fact that I was going to 96 and he made me aware of the fact that my engineer over there had 20, 22 years on the job. The firefighters over there had 19 years on the job. And here I am, a captain at seven and a half years on the job, going over, taking charge. So he made the little announcement that I was going to have a problem. And I, I informed him that the fact that I am, uh, I have seven and a half years on the job is not the problem. I'm not going over there as an engineer. I'm not going over there as a firefighter. I'm going as captain. I am the problem. They have to answer to me. My first day there, I call my crew together, explain to them that yes, I have seven and a half years on the job. I know they have much more experience than I do at the position. I'm going to need their help to make this work, and I'm looking for that. Once I gave my little spiel about what I expected, I went to my office, sat down. About two minutes later, they came up, put a cup of coffee on my desk, and said, we're going to help you. And they did. This would be one 
of the easier battles. The second crew, per crew, and also the uh, third crew. Mm -hmm. And from that point on, I started having problems. Mm -hmm. Because it seemed to me the word was around that someone needed to stop me for whatever reason. And at every location that I, uh, every assignment I got from that point, I met resistance. The type of resistance you get from above and below, from your superior and subordinates, subordinates who are uh, circumventing the chain of command, going to your superiors, uh, superiors who circumvent it by going around you and dealing with your subordinates, leaving you out the loop. And that's the first thing I had to change to make sure that I was given respect of the rank that I had and the position I had. I'm in charge now of that particular station. I made decisions about the day's activity in that particular station. And responsibility was altogether different. You know, I had to decide whether or not I want to seek revenge or uh, I want to do some team building. I decided I wanted to do team building. And that is what worked for me. Uh, making sure I got good people on my crew, number one. Uh, absent the, the color, good people. And I was able to do that. Clady remains in the position for a decade. In that time, he fashions his station into a much sought after training site. My crew, when I was a captain of Station 58, Station 58 was known as the station that would assist you on preparing for any portion of the uh, examination process that you were going through. And my crew, you couldn't be on my crew unless you felt that way. If you felt like you didn't want to do that, you had to leave. So 58 was known as a recruitment site and also a training site. Affirmative action was now over a decade old. Efforts continued to bring blacks, Latinos, and Asians onto the job. Among those underrepresented minorities are women. The first to assist is Captain Herschel Clady. I actually assist him in starting, position, starting the organization, Black Fire, uh, Female Firefighters. Made him aware of what they had to be exposed to, to the best of my knowledge. I'm not a woman, so I don't know all the problems they face. But together, they know exactly what they need to do. And that's why it was necessary for them to put a group together.